Hey everyone, it's Chili Gong, and I love Animal Crossing New Horizons. Are you new to the franchise and like me, were too shy and wondering how to do certain things in game? Well then, I am super excited to share with you 5 tips I wish I knew when starting to play. Number 1. How to hit rocks. Whenever you hit a rock, you bounce a little bit backwards. As such, I thought you could only hit a rock one time per day to obtain resources, leaving me wondering how anybody could obtain enough resources to craft. You can actually hit a rock up to 8 times to obtain 8 different resources. For any rock, it is really important to first clear the area where items will drop. Next, you'll want to have an obstacle behind you to prevent you from moving backwards. In this example, you can use your shovel to dig 2 holes behind you. Next, position yourself so that you're in the center of the 2 holes and then mash the A button so that you can hit the rock 8 times in a row. Also make sure you haven't eaten any fruit prior to hitting a rock, otherwise the rock will break. In this example, you can also use a tree as an obstacle. The main point is to position yourself in front of two obstacles to prevent yourself from moving backwards while mashing that A button. On your island, there should be six rocks available for you to hit each day. One of those rocks will be a money rock, which will actually drop bells instead of resources. This can earn you about 16,000 bells per day. Some players will often create a rock garden, which is a more advanced technique to have your rocks all in one area to make collecting resources easier. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to explain how to make one. Number 2. How to catch wasps. We interrupt this video for an important public service announcement. Are you tired of shaking trees barehanded and then having a swarm of wasps come and attack you? Well then, I've got the solution for you. Make sure you're holding a net when shaking hardwood trees, that is to say, trees that don't bear fruit. When shaking trees, it is best to face the tree frontwards directly. That way, when a wasp comes out to attack you, you can directly use your net to catch them. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This was a message from the ambassador of Bramblebee Island, Chili Gong. This directly leads to tip number three, making sure you shake furniture trees and money trees. Each day on your island, there will be two hardwood trees that will drop a random furniture item. Again, a hardwood tree is any tree that does not bear fruit. The trees that can drop an item will change each day. As well, on your island, every day there will be a glowing spot in the ground. When you dig in this glowing spot, you'll be able to find 1000 bells. You will then be able to bury some more bells into this hole to grow a money tree. The recommendation to get the best bang for your buck is to bury 10,000 bells into the hole. Once the tree is fully grown, it will have produced 3 bags of 10,000 bells, for a total of 30,000 bells. Planting more than 10,000 bells doesn't guarantee a return greater than 30,000 though. Simply shake the money tree like you would any fruit tree to collect your bells. Once shaken though, the money tree will then become a regular hardwood tree and will no longer produce any more bags of bells. Tip number 4. Play the stock market for turnips. Buying and selling turnips is an excellent way to make a lot of bells so that you can buy more furniture and more clothing to decorate your island and personalize yourself. Every Sunday morning, your island will be visited by Daisy May, who will sell you turnips. She will sell them for a price between 90 to 120 bells each. Once you have bought turnips, you'll be able to sell them to Timmy and Tommy at Nook's Cranny from Monday to Saturday. The idea behind the stock market is to buy turnips for the lowest price possible from Daisy May and then sell them to Timmy and Tommy for the highest price possible in order to make the most amount of bells. Timmy and Tommy will buy your turnips for up to 650 bells although this price is randomized and will change from day to day and you will also be able to have two different prices before and after noon. A great way to sell turnips for a good price is to visit other people's islands. 
usually using forums like ACNH Exchange or Reddit. Make sure you sell your turnips before the week is over, otherwise they will go rotten and become worthless. Tip number five, wishing on stars. Sometimes when you have a clear night or when Isabel announces a meteor shower, you will be able to wish upon stars. Wishing on stars will allow you to collect important star fragments the next day, which are usable in crafting items from Celeste DIYs. To wish on stars, make sure that you're not holding any items in your hands like a net, a shovel, or a slingshot. Next, pan the camera upwards so that you're looking into the sky. You'll be able to see a star go across the sky and you'll also hear a little twinkle effect. When you do, hit the A button in order to wish on the star. And it's as simple as that. The next day, when you walk along your beach, you'll be able to find star fragments. Bonus tip time! Da 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 da! Taking your time. Now that Animal Crossing New Horizons has been out for some time, it can be easy to find very well developed islands and wonder how come my island doesn't look like that yet? My advice to that is take your time and play at your own pace. Whether you choose to time travel, whether to play day by day, or take months long breaks in between, Animal Crossing is, is your island, and it's your game to play. Take however much time you need to see your island grow, develop, and be nurtured. Most of all, I hope you're able to fall in love with this game as much as I did. I've actually never played an Animal Crossing game before. This was my first game of the franchise and oh, oh boy, I had no idea what was coming. I've spent a ridiculous amount of time playing this game because it is so fun and charming. I mean, just look at this beautiful aurora sky. My cute villagers are always there to welcome me. And oh my gosh, the New Year's celebration was so cute. On that note, Happy New Year, Happy 2021. I hope that if you are a new player to this game that you found the tips I had today to be helpful for you, coming from a new player like myself. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video for more Animal Crossing content, as I do plan to make more videos around it in the future. Thanks for stopping by. See ya!